All right, so today we are going to be building a little timeline. So as you land on the website, on the hero section, we have stacks of images. So you would land on the hero section. And as you scroll towards the uh, next sections of the website, you see that the images, the two images, basically slide down towards one of the section. And then the third image lands on another section and it stops there and then the website continues so i think this is a very interesting effect for a website where you are trying to tell a story you are trying to attract attention towards something and it's very aesthetic obviously so let's get into it all right so we have a blank canva here and what we are going to be doing now as usual is add a container and i will just drop it in here make sure that is full width and let's go to minimum height and we're also going to set this to be 300 vh because we need space for the timeline to take place so that's how we are going to do that all right i'm just going to publish it uh, we don't have to do anything else here if you want to remove the padding i think i already have it done in my settings i'm not sure but you can just remove all the padding from the container and march in and publish again okay so now we're going to be setting our images so we will have three images as i said you can add more than three but there is the one specific image that needs to have the class of trigger image so i will discuss this more in detail but let's start adding our images so i'm gonna go to images go and set my image so i'm gonna go with this one and I will set this on with the class of image to this image to be absolute. Let's set this to be offset horizontal to be 40. And we are going to leave the offset vertical to, let's set it to seven. All right, so I'm going to go to style. I'm gonna set the image with 200% max with 100% and height will be 50 I will say 53 VH you can say 50 whatever if you like rounded numbers actually I like that okay that's fine <laughs> all right so I'm gonna publish this and since we set the all the values for this image we are going to duplicate this and I am also going to replace the oops let's replace the image with something else i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with this image select and i will set this image to have a class of image one all right so another thing that i want to do because i don't like the way these images are just sitting there straight i want to transform them to transform their rotation basically so i'm gonna go with the first image to be minus two as you can see it's a little bit tilted and also image one let's go to transform i'm gonna set this to be five it's a bit more tilted we could go less tilted more tilted i think that's fine for now i will publish this and of course on top of this we're gonna add another image so i'm gonna go and set this image to have the class of trigger image and let me just remove this and i will go to uh, my transform and i will just go back to default so this image is basically just sitting there beautifully so i'm gonna publish this and I'm going to go and play a little bit with the um, layout of vertical orientation. And I'm going to say vertical six. So it goes a little bit up. Now what we want to do in this container, we are going to go, oops, we're going to go to add a heading. And this heading is going to be our H1. And I am going to say something very inspiring and I will change the color of this um, text to something less blue. I think this is nice. And I have a custom ATL. 
custom font here. I will set this to be 10.5 REM and 500. And of course, we need to set this uh, to be position absolute. And I will also give it a set index of minus one. So it's under the images. And let's go to our uh, positioning the vertical orientation to be 10. Oops, and change this to pixels. So it's 10. All right, I think it's coming along pretty nice. And let's go and have a look on the front end. So this is how it's looking so far. Actually, what I will do is change this image because I want this to be impactful for you. So I'm gonna put this instead. All right, it looks a little bit more luxurious in my opinion. Okay, so now I'm going to duplicate this heading and I'm gonna move it a little bit down, uh, duplicate. And of course this heading will be an H2, so don't forget, always, uh, we can always only have one H, one on the page. So I'm gonna set another section here, pretty much the same, but this one will only have a hundred VH and I will also give it a background color of this green and I will duplicate this heading and move it in here, of course, like this. Make sure that our heading is in the center. We'll also go to uh, style to the style of the heading and make it a bit smaller. And I will say land, land image, oops, image here. Ah, all right. Um, I think I could make it a bit bigger now. Okay, I think this is okay. Okay, so I will add a container and uh, an HTML widget in here. So it worked in that way. Okay, so I'm gonna drop my code in here and now everything should work. Obviously it's not gonna work in the editor, which uh, looks a little bit funky, but we're gonna try to fix it. Yes, 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 yes. And the image landed here and it's not really in the center. For some reason it didn't land on this, in the center. So let's see what the problem is. All right, so let's go a little bit back to the drawing board. So let's see what the problem is. I think I will set the offset to be um, 38 for the first image. And then the offset on this one is going to be 39. I'm looking at my values because I have them written here. So don't judge. So this one is going to be 39. All right, so let's have another look. Why is this coming down this way? All right, this is very strange. Ah, I think I know what the issue is. So I'm gonna go to the main container, the parent container, and I'm gonna set the margin 50 on this. So let's go. Yeah, it seems that that's uh, something to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go back to my second image, set it to seven as initially. Whoops, as initially set. Yeah, it's looking okay now. Don't ask me why that happened. Could be also the values in the code that need to be adjusted, but that's one way of the debugging, I guess. All right, so let's see again. So first image, then we read the information that we are being fed on the page, then the second image, and then we are getting the third image and the third image lands and settle settles here what i don't like is that it did not settle in the middle and i need to check to see why all right so let me also activate the markers so as you remember as i said it is very important that this image the first image on the top of the stack it's has the class of trigger animation because as you can see we have added the trigger of the animation that that image so without that 
will the animation will not work okay so most likely the issue that we have where the image does not land in the middle of the section is because maybe if we say 310 vh of course uh, you have to play with these values it's not a science okay i think we got there i think this is where we are and as you can see the animation ends right there yeah and if you want the images to not end up where they end up here you have to play with these values here so let's say if i say 100 vh here and 100 vh here what's going to happen i think it's going they're going to whoops i think they are going to end up here which is still not bad but you don't see the second image so you you have to play a little bit uh, around with either the text or the images themselves again uh, you have free reign here <laughs> to play around but i think the way i set it up initially is the best so i'm gonna return to the initial values and that's about it so this is our code and this is our storyline let's have another look so yes perfect and perfect yep if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye